This is the Everest Plurima Manuale. Plurima is the model type and Manuale means it's, uh, it, yeah, it has manual uh, drive. There are also electric versions, Plurima Electrica, but this one is manual. It has uh, eight digits of input, so you can enter a number on the keyboard. These buttons at the bottom here are for zeros, one, zero, a double zero, a triple zero. And this small lever here can clear the keyboard. When you've entered the number, you can pull the crank, and that prints it in black, and adds it to the internal register. I've now added three numbers together, and to see the total, or subtotal, you have to uh, pull the crank twice. I'll do the subtotal, and for that I'll, you have to push this forward. Uh, you pull the crank twice, the first time gives a blank line, and then it prints the subtotal in red with a diamond sign at the end, this, uh, this diamond sign. Uh, because it's a subtotal, the register is unaffected, and I can add further numbers to it. So I've now added six numbers, and for the total I just leave this button alone and pull the crank twice. Once for an empty line, and then the total. The total is printed in red with an asterisk at the end and that uh, clears the internal register, so it's back to zero. This button here, it has a not equal sign on it. That is the non-add button. So anything I type now uh, will be printed, but it will not be added to the internal register. It's still on zero. It's printed with this not equal sign at the end. Uh, this button here is the minus button, subtract button. So I can add a number and then subtract a number by pressing this. That subtracted number is printed with a minus sign after it. Let me show you the result. As you can see, it's been subtracted. If I subtract something large, so that the uh, register becomes negative. The, this input display here shows a red flag. This display normally shows you how many digits you've entered so far with this little indicator, but it now also shows this red flag to show that the uh, register is negative. And uh, yeah, if you print it, it prints it in red with an extra negative sign at the end. It can also do multiplication. Let's clear the register. Uh, so if I enter a number and push uh, this button forward, this multiply button, what this does is it uh, ensures that the input is not cleared when you pull the crank. So if I pull the crank a few times, it adds this number several times, so I've added it three times now. I can still uh, append a zero, so I've pressed the zero button, so it's essentially shifted my input number to the left, and I can add it again, and add another zero and add it. So what I've done so far, I've um, essentially multiplied it by 123. If I want to uh, print the total now, I do have to make sure that I clear the input, because you can only print the total when the input is clear. If I hadn't done that, it would just add it on again. So I've cleared the input, and this is the uh, result. The, uh, the machine is very easy to open. This cover just lifts off and that gives you access to the ink ribbon. 
it's a two color ink ribbon. All the normal numbers are printed in black and the totals and subtotals are printed in red. Uh, you can, by the way, you can shift the uh, paper using this wheel, but for uh, adjustment you can also push this bit down and that uh, allows you to slide it a bit. It uh, releases the paper. So this ink ribbon is uh, half an inch wide or 12 millimeters or so. It doesn't matter which way round you have it uh, on the spool, whether the black is on the inside or outside, because you can make this twist go either way. As long as the ribbon goes uh, in front of the uh, print heads with the black at the top. And these two wheels do need to have the uh, uh, ribbon going underneath it. So uh, round, round on it uh, in that direction. Uh, once the ribbon runs out to the end, it automatically reverses and goes the other way. Um, you can uh, open this case up further quite easily. You simply have to remove these uh, button tops, push both of these in uh, out of the way, and this uh, part of the case is just held on by these two clips, the metal clip here and on this side. So you push these in and then you can lift up oh. there we go. Lift it up and off the machine. And yeah, the mechanism is just now resting on this bottom plate. So you have easy access to the whole machine. So that was the Everest Purima Manuale. Thank you for watching.